It's Fairground Attraction with Perfect on Mix 104.9. Everything top end. Wake up with Greg and Ali. It's eight past seven. Now, a new segment we're bringing to our breakfast is fitness and food with Matt Cowling from Evolve. Good morning. Good morning, Ali. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. How was uh, the workout this morning? Great. Nice and busy. Good bit of fun. So, uh, yeah, everyone enjoyed it. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Now, a big topic on everyone's lips lately is sugar because it tastes so good. Mm-hmm. But it's really bad, isn't it? Well, yeah, depending which one. So I'm trying to just squash a few myths right now. Um, sugar's like the big hot topic right now with a few documentaries coming out and all the mm. rest of it. But um, I thought I'd try and keep it as simple as possible but try and squash some myths as well. So first of all, um, what's your initial reaction if I told you you can't eat sugar? Well, I'd be like, well, that's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why can't I eat it? <laughs> exactly. And now say if I um, tell you you can't eat broccoli. Oh, well, I'd probably go with the sugar. Yeah, not really. I'd bother about broccoli, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, now the reason for that is um, there's something in your brain called the cerebral cortex, without going too scientific, and it's kind of a reward part of your brain. So mm. when you eat something, it'll go, shall I do that again or not? Now, it releases dopamine, and dopamine, that everyone knows, is sort of the happy, feel-good hormone, right? Yeah. And it releases when you uh, do things that uh, are almost productive towards your life. So exercise, um, eating, uh, reproducing, you know, yeah. reproducing, so yeah. reproducing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything like that releases uh, the dopamine there. Now... Uh, when you when you eat sugar, it drives dopamine crazy, yeah, like okay. absolutely insane. So that's why everyone's got that kind of addiction, and well, people can get a massive addiction to it. Now, one of the biggest things I hear is um, people go, "Oh, well, well, you know, fruit, fruits, it's fructose, that's good." Mm. The thing is, this fructose is the problem. Now, but the difference is, this is where you sort of walk that fine line. Now, fructose in fruit is in very small amounts, okay, and it's laced with fiber. Now, fructose doesn't release something uh, called leptin, which is released from your body. It lets you know when you've eaten too much. Yes. Um, so, if you take the fiber out of the fruit, then you can eat so much sugar and not feel full, right? And right. that's what we've got right now. Sugar's been around for centuries, absolute centuries, but it's laced with fiber, so um, so you know when you've had enough. But when you take all that out, like in, in, a, in an apple, you've got around four teaspoons. Mm. In a can of Coke, you've got around ten. Gosh. You wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't. You know, You'd go fiber. with the apple, wouldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. So okay. that's the thing is that um, we used to, as cavemen, if we found a big beehive, we would have eaten it because it's good for storing energy and it's good for, for survival, right? Yeah. But in this day and age, that beehive is in every single aisle that you go down. Oh, it's so confusing. I mean, you end up looking at the back of the label of all these products and you you get confused at the end of the day of what's right and what's not right. Exactly. You know, so it's a, it's a big problem that we got right now is that it's just so, um, so easily available right now and um, obviously when your blood sugar level goes up you release insulin and um, wouldn't have been a problem you know obviously unless you got you, you're diabetic but um, it wouldn't be a problem in time okay. but because we've had it in small amounts yeah now that we're having such insulin release we get all sorts of fatigue basically your pancreas finds it hard to keep up with and starts to give out and that's when you got diabetes and that's why all these problems are giving up i can go it's on a massive on detail on and on to the problem. But the problem is, is that broccoli doesn't release dopamine in the brain. Okay, so That's why you don't care about broccoli. At the end of the day, <laughs> just go with the broccoli. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's one of those <laughs> things that the least... That when you eat something, you release dopamine, whatever it is, okay? And the more you eat that same thing, the less dopamine release you get. Yeah. And so that's why what it does is your body's forcing you to eat a variety of foods so you get more nutrition, right? Mm. But when you're having such high amounts of sugar, you're going to get that release anyway, and it's unnatural. That's why you're kind of addicted to that, because you're getting for that high, you know? So when you decide to get, take sugar over healthy food, it's got such a massive health consequence. You've yeah. got to think, it might taste good, no, it's all fun and games, but you pay for the price later on. You do, and you don't end up feeling good. At, yeah. the, at the end of the day anyway. Exactly. So, okay, make good choices. <laughs> good choices, that people. That is our message to you today. Matt <laughs> Cowling from Evolve. Thank you so much for coming in. Catch up with you again soon. Here's Blink 182 at 13 past 7.